Hey guys, welcome back here to my channel and back to the flying coaster diorama project that I'm doing. This is Air 2.0 and as I explained in the last episode, this is based on the original concept art from Air from 2002 at Alton Towers. While you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon and also give me a thumbs up for this video. I really do appreciate it. So as you just saw that, I went and added these green kind of triangle frames underneath that hub place. Uh, in the center there and also along the main bridge going into the hub and this is because in the original concept art I'll put a picture on the screen now um, there are these kind of green borders around the paths and it really looks good against all that rock work etc so I really wanted to try and include that as well and obviously I'm not going to be copying the concept art one for one I'm just using it as a reference and I'm going to take my own uh, creative license with it and go where it takes me um, so I'm using glass fences here which I thought would be really cool to put around uh, all the path work and everything to really kind of uh, lean into that futuristic style that I want because I think the futuristic mixed with the nature style with all the rocks and the foliage um, just goes so well together um, so I thought maybe having glass fences would kind of help with the futuristic side um, I've actually used Freedom 2K there to kind of position these fences around that giant hub because the uh, you can resize the curved fences from Fancy Tech, I think these are from, but um, unfortunately it scales up the size of the fence, so they actually look too large. So I wanted to keep them the same size as all the other fences, so I've, I've had to do this by hand by going in with uh, Freedom 2K there and just placing those around the hub. Uh, I believe that Astrotron on his channel has a tutorial on how to use Freedom 2K, so if you're not quite sure how to use it or you want to get into it, go over to his channel and have a look at that. Um, and that will really help you out I think. So I've got these cool rock structures there either side kind of holding up the hub as well but I also wanted to add some pillars in. So there are some really cool pillars in the Resort Tech mod and uh, these ones are like thick at the top and skinny at the bottom and I thought they looked really kind of cool and they fit really well in with this theme so I've used those and I'm going to use those as well throughout the rest of the map on other kind of raised pathway areas. I think once you find a style and a theme that's kind of working for you, use it in throughout the whole map, obviously change it up every now and then to make everything not look so repetitive, but obviously have those kind of key features um, that keep everything cohesive and together. So using the same pillars, the same kind of fences and that, that kind of thing um, can really help bring the whole map together. So I'm, you know, I've got the kind of motif down with the rocks and the, how the paths will look. And then it's just a matter of laying everything down and making it look pretty and, and having everything go well together. So obviously here I have these kind of off white grayish paths, uh, which kind of look really cool. And I also mixed it in with some cobblestone. And um, I thought that was quite a cool little mix. Uh, I think basically I'm going to have the cobblestones here just for like the main path going into the hub for the ride. And then the rest of the map is going to have these kind of gray tones. Um, so that's the only kind of differences I'm doing there. Uh, I think the path work as well, having it in that light color looks really futuristic, so I really like it. Something I also I haven't done before, and I actually mentioned in the last month's uh, showcase video, someone did some like off grayish white kind of flooring in, uh, on their map, and I thought it looked really, really cool. wanted to give it a go myself as well, um, so I'm using these kind of different colors to what I would normally use this month. So now on to the station build. This was something I was really excited about, but I had no clue how to do it or where to start. And uh, the only kind of reference I had was from that picture I showed you earlier, where that has the picture of the station in the background, which kind of looks like a greenhouse. Um, and it is actually very similar to the actual station that is uh, on uh, Galactica or Alton Towers or Air, whatever you want to call it. But I didn't just want to copy it. I wanted to do my own take and my own kind of way of doing it. And just by using that as a kind of reference, so uh, I was trying to experiment what to do. I tried to use different curved roof pieces and trying to tilt those with two, Freedom 2K and everything. It wasn't really working out. So um, I've skipped all that footage because it was just long and painful to watch of me playing around on how to do this. But I really love this pillar here from the uh, Future in Space mod set. And so I've put that down there and just kind of, I'm gonna play off that pillar. So I've put a ring there at the um, exit or where the train would come out of the station. So I think that looks cool. And that's kind of um, very futuristic looking, so I kind of like that. And then I'm just kind of going to use these glass um, curved panels. I'm going to tilt one, put it on the top. Um, I think that will look really, really cool. And I'm just at the moment, I'm just playing around. I haven't quite got all the proportions and everything right, but I'm figuring out something in my head, and I think I like the look of this so far. 
One of the main things that I really wanted to try and create was having this futuristic style building coming out of the rock work or the rock work was, you know, kind of around submerging these buildings. Um, that's the kind of a look that I think is very prominent in the whole kind of Galactica air theme at Alton Towers, especially with one of the entrance signs. I don't know how it is there anymore because I haven't been there for so long, but they used to have like these steel kind of um, structures coming out of the rock work. So I wanted to try and have that and um, use that throughout the map as well, because I think it's a really great style having that future metal and everything mixed in with the rock work. But yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and do some rock work now around the station so I can kind of get an idea for how it looks. And then I'll go back to actually doing more of the structure work on the actual station itself so I can get more of a bigger picture here. Um, so I'm just playing around with some of the rock work there. I've got this really cool area here where the, the track actually passes over and under the station or the bottom of the lift hill. And um, so that made a really cool kind of area where I can do lots of rock work and have all these different layers, which again, I think looks rather futuristic in its way. So back to the station building now. So these glass panels, I've decided I'm gonna make them a bit bigger and do those along the roof. And I think that would look really, really cool. But that means now I have to adjust that kind of pillar there because um, it's a little bit wrong now that I adjusted the roofs. But I'm liking how it's looking so far. I think it's gonna look really cool when I'm finished with it, especially with the more rock work around it and everything. And uh, now I just decided I needed to kind of join up that pillar to the bottom somehow. So. Just laying in some random beams here. I think it looks kind of cool. I don't really know what it does or if it has a purpose, but I like it. So yeah, I'm still playing around with that glass roof there. Um, just trying to figure out how that should be because I, I think it's a little bit funny. Maybe I need to tilt them a little bit. I'm not sure. But the front of it, I've decided it needs to have like this uh, angled wall along the front, which I think will make it look really cool. And then I didn't actually do it on camera for some reason. I don't know why, but um, I added writing on the side of that at an angle that said air gate which I think is a nice little nod to the original air because it had all the, the air gates in the um, station and each sign for each gate was like air gate one, air gate two, etc. So I've included that as well. Now I'm back to doing some more rock work, just tying up, um, basically filling in some of those weird gaps and just putting in rocks where I think they look good. And of course you can always delete the rocks as you're doing it if you're not happy with the positioning of them. And um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed doing this. I thought it was really, uh, cool, I've never really done this type of rock work before either, so this was kind of a first for me. But I really like this big rock here around the first kind of curve coming out of the station, the pre-drop area. Um, that's really, really nice. You kind of fly out around this rock and then you go under the rocks before into the lift hill. I thought that was a really cool little interaction to have there with the train and with the ride. Um, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. Uh, and I did know that I wanted to have like these rocks kind of situated around where the coaster curves or does helixes, etc. So. I kind of had an idea of how it was going to be, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks a little bit better than I actually imagined in my head. And I'm really happy with the progress so far of the station as well. It's definitely got that futuristic look that I wanted combined with the nature. As always, of course, I have added a screenshot at the end of this video, just so you can kind of see without the time lapse how it's looking at the current state that it's in. Um, so you'll see the station there and also the picture has the writing that says air gate on it. So you can see what I was talking about. But for the rest of the video, really, I'm going to be tidying up around the station, filling in some of those rock areas, making everything look a little bit better, and also doing the structure work for this platform, which actually is the exit from the ride. And actually, I'm thinking about continuing that down towards the water and having like a platform on the water, on the top of the water around the rocks, which I think would be nice. So guests could go down there and look up at the coaster. Um, and I think also, I didn't do it on camera either, but I added some smoke triggers on the ring at the front of the station so that when the train leaves the station it kind of puffs out some steam there which i thought was a nice little um animation to add to the ride or to the coaster so again i'm just doing the fences and everything here tidying up those path edges etc a little trick which actually one of my um, youtube viewers left me in a, a video a while ago and that's if you use the wooden paths, they're so much easier to cover up because they don't have borders on the sides of sides of them. So I've been doing that throughout this whole entire map. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's so much easier to cover, but the wood actually pokes through the path cover a little bit. So I could just colored the wood into like a nice teal color. And actually it was a, a happy mistake. I actually really like how it looks with the uh, wood panels poking through with the turquoise or the teal color. Um, so that was, yeah, like I said, a happy mistake, but I really like the look of it. Um, so I'm gonna, try and include that a little bit more in the rest of the map as well. Um, 
So yeah, now I'm just gonna add some glass fences onto the station edge and in the middle as well. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I hope you're liking it as well. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below what you think so far. I'm really interested to know you guys' opinion. And stay tuned here for another episode on my channel. I'll leave you now with this screenshot. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.